All right, streaming. All right, let's see. Let's get this set up. So chat windows, I think the uh, Amazon Alexa account is going to host this. So I'll have both Amazon Alexa Twitch chats and my Twitch chats open. Um, today I'm just going to do some live coding for a little bit on, oh, we need some music first. Can you hear that? Oh, that's that. Why don't I hear music? Let's go here. Maybe we need this. No. Can't code. I can't code without music. Play. Oh, man. What's happening? I may have to code without music. Can the stream hear it? Oh, it can. All right, that's good enough. I don't need to hear myself talk. All right, so what I'm working on is learning RTC. I don't know much about it, but I need RTC to stream video from cameras to an Alexa device. And the point of this is, I've got to do a show on this next Friday, and I need to figure it out before then. But the point is to uh, be able to take inputs from self-driving car cameras and annotate them. So draw boxes or highlight objects like cars, pedestrians, street signs, traffic lights, and then uh, do something with that data. But I just want to highlight it on here first and be able to say, Alexa, show me uh, the streaming camera, or the self-driving car camera. And, have it show up on that device or a device. But I don't know enough about this, so this is a stream where I'm going to learn about it and uh, hack around, so it might be kind of boring. I really do wish I could hear my music, but I guess I can't. Uh, is there a way around that? Can I do this? Let's see. Let's just stop this first. No copyright sounds game, streaming chill out mix. What's it sound like? So, that's some hacker, hacky music right there. So it's really not the, okay, so it's something to do in Streamlabs. So audio, desktop audio, maybe this needs to be up. Let's try this again. Nothing. All right. Uh, settings. Audio. Desktop audio device. Disable default. Hmm. I don't want to mess with that. All right. It's all right. I don't need music to code. Just code. Four minutes in, haven't done anything yet. All right, uh, let's get my chat windows back up. So I'm going to need this, it looks like. WebRTC, um, a library for real-time communication object, real-time communication ORTC. I know I need WebRTC for Alexa. It's in Python, that's great. Built on top of async IO. All right, so when should I use it? Why should I use it? Debian Ubuntu, that's me. Let's log in. Oh, I don't want that. There we go. All right, so I've got an EC2 machine running just for this. Well, it's got Carla, which is the autonomous driving simulator running on it. And that's where I want it. So that'll be my self-driving car for now, the simulated car. So let's SH it into that. Oh, I saw something today. Let's see, Windows, Terminal. I think this is finally GA. This is really good, though. This is so much better than it used to be. Windows Terminal Preview. How do I update to have the real deal? 18 hours ago, store install link. That's what I want. Microsoft Store. Uh, terminal preview. There's no update. 
Hmm. That's all right. We'll launch it anyway. All right, so let's go to SSH and uh, jump into this box. Let's have some fun. I don't want that. Want this. Yeah, terminal is so much better than than the command prompt used to be. I mean it. All right. A I O R T C. And I may not be even using it right. Well, I'm using it right, but I like the way you can open a new tab that can be any one of like PowerShell command prompt, my WSL sessions. I don't have Azure Cloud. All right, so that's A I O R T C. So what do I do from here? We run setup, app install, lib, 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 lib. Let's get this going first. Hmm. What are we installing? Lib AV device, lib AV filter, lib opus. All right. I don't know what we need now. That's it, huh? So no. There we go. Examples. Server. Audio video stream CLI. This example illustrates establishment of a video stream using an RTC peer connection. By default, the signal channel is copy and paste an animated French flag, but it's also possible to use a media player. All right, I can live with the French flag. Required packages. Probably have a couple of those. I should have OpenCV Python in this box. Hmm. Uh, SSL ST init. Do I need a sudo or dash user? Is it or just one dash? All right. Oh, that's right. We're running Python two on this box because that's what Carla needed to be happy. Hmm. CLI offer CLI answer CLI. Let's see if we can tell what Python they're using. I don't see any like fingerprints of either. One thing you can look for is like a print statement that doesn't have parentheses on it, but I didn't see that there. Okay. Um, well, let's just debug this error. SSL ST init. SSL ST init. Okay. Let's bump. Oh, I forget. Just. Pip is broken too. This solved it. Easy install. Upgrade. It's installed version 17.3, which is upgrade, blah, 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 blah. And the solution looks more correct than deleting. OK. Oops. Processing. Oh, it's already the active version. Oops, let's try this. Let's just try one at a time. So can we install? Uh, what do we should what should we do? Let's just go back. AIO HTTP. That's probably the one that needs SSL. Okay. Let's just try OpenCV Python. Okay. Let's try WebSockets. Oh, I don't need user. There we go. Oh wait, maybe that didn't work. module named pathlib. Hmm. Oh no, WebSockets requires Python 3.4. Oh, okay. I know what we can do. Let's do this. This, this should be easy. Um, 
Conda, do we still have Conda on here? Uh, Anaconda, oh, Conda. Anaconda. Oh man, I deleted it. That's all right. Um, we'll just create a virtual environment for WebRTC, run that from the vert, and then, and then run Carla just from the base. That's fine. Retrieve the latest version. There we go. If you don't use Anaconda or a virtual environment, you really should. The reason I'm not on this machine is, or I haven't, is that um, that Carla really, really was tough to install if you did it that way. Anaconda will be installed at this location. That's fine. I just hope it doesn't change my default Python to 3.7. I need it to be 2.7 on this machine. I have no water up here. Maybe I do. All right, so that'll install, and once that installs, we're gonna go with, uh, uh, we're gonna go back to this example, we're gonna pip install those things, and that should work. Maybe, we're gonna find out soon. Verify data, run the script, blah, 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 complete the process. Once it's done, you wanna add this to your path. Um, yeah, I think I do. I can always take it out of the path later if it messes things up. All right, so it has a sample video. I also want to have another one. Uh, on the Twitch stream yesterday, Lord of Sound pasted a really good one that I should have noted. I think I opened it in this. Dash royalty free dash cam footage MP4. Let's try this. Best royalty free freeway Pixabay green light I like this one 1080p it's got some lane lines it's got cars oh it's on YouTube got to be able to download it pawn 5 is one that came up yesterday no that's too grainy look at that I need cars. Oh, a bike would be really nice to have in it. That's a good one. 69 bucks for that piece of footage. That is not good. Fish-eyed a little bit. 30 FPS. Why would you be so expensive? Download preview. Mm, stay in the loop. Get it? Didn't they just call it loop? Oh, maybe not. Download preview comps before you draw. All right, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna get my own footage. Do I wish to, yes. Wait, you're currently a Python path variable set. This may cause unexpected behavior. Please verify your Python path only points to directories that are compatible. Huh. Let's, uh, let's see. Python path is right there. Home Ubuntu source C and TK bindings Python. Doesn't look right, does it? I'm gonna go ahead and comment that out now and then come back to this and say yes. Trace back. Module enum has no attribute int flag. What? No, I don't want that. Uh, let's just try this. Source CSHRC and then um, conda config set auto activate base false. 
I've never seen that. Module enum has no attribute. Module enum has no attribute int flag. Iterative D, what? Do you have enum34 installed? Pip freeze, grep. This is terrible. <sighs> okay, I have another idea. Let's try one more thing first. It's because enum is not a standard enum. You probably have package enum 34, uninstall 34. It has a disk details project. <sighs> okay, here's what I want to do. Um, I want to exit. And we're going to start with a clean instance of this. So I'm going to shut this one down. I'm keeping it because it has good Carla code on it, but I don't want to mess anything else up on that one. I'll launch a new one. I'm going to launch a deep learning AMI. So deep learning because I want to get all the goodies. And I want Ubuntu and not this is Ubuntu. 1604 is what I want. Continue with the P3. P3. Dot. It's a P3. Why aren't you showing up? My mic's in the way. P3, 2x large or larger. I know. But I want. Hmm. P3, 2x large. What's the one that's an S, right? P3, 306 an hour. There's one that's like 75 cents an hour, 79. P3, 8, P3, 16, P3. What is that cheap one? P4? No, G3, G3S right here. G3S, that's a GPU based one. It's smaller and it's only 75 cents an hour, only compared to these other ones. So G3SX large. Boom, configure the details. That all looks good. Add storage. A quarter terabyte. Add tags. Name. We're going to call this uh, RTC and Carla. Because I will get Carla back on this. I might even get 097 on it somehow. Uh, select an existing security group. I need Carla. That's the one I want. All right. I need to check those security groups to make sure nothing's open. Let me switch to that real quick. Hold on. How do I do this? Cam only. All right. So you can't see all my magic. So what I'm looking for is security groups, Carla. I want to make sure nothing's open to the world that people might have seen when I showed that. No. All right. It's just my stuff. OK, so that's launching um, instances. Takes about a minute, probably, or two. RTC and Carla connect. Hold on, I'm going to turn the heater up. It's cold in here. OK, Let's see if this works. And it will have Conda installed already for us. Should, anyway. Conda env list. Da, 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 da. There we go. Why is it called a UNV list? Being real cool with us. It does come with all these. So uh, we have a basic, I don't really care about Python, anything, base Python. 
Source activate Python 3. Yep, I want each to finish. Whatever you're trying to do. Source activate Python 3. Nice. Now we should be able to download this package. We should be back in business. So let's uh, clone this. And then let's run this install here. App install. I wonder if we have to run sudo again. Could not get a lock. I use sudo. You should be able to get to lock. sudo apt install lib. Yeah. Unable to. November 4th, 2018. Is something still installing in the background? really weird isn't it I don't understand what that means to me it looks like some some processors are still running now there's fewer so maybe it's done now there's more what is happening all right well let's try this again I don't know we're gonna reboot and see what happens it's never easy um, okay, well, while it's rebooting, what are we gonna we're gonna go back to these examples. Let's check a look, take a look here. CLI, CB2, NumPy, AV, um, video track that returns an animated flag. So it's doing that. Shrink and center it. Oh, it's creating a rectangle with with H stack. So it's just using an array of colors to create the French flag. It's pretty cool. Compute animation. I haven't seen this before. So tile omega is that two times pi over height, two times pi over height. Index of x is a tile and a range of width and height one. Where's width? 480, 640. There's a tile. What's an NumPy tile do? Construct an array by repeating A. MP tile, MP array 0 and 2. Tile A twice. Oh, it's just repeating it. Okay, so what are we repeating here? Tile. transpose so then it's flipping that to be like the height what it's, okay I don't it doesn't matter so this should not work because oh it did work how did that work why did we get the same IP address oh because we didn't stop the instance we just rebooted okay that makes sense and uh, conda activate Activate Python. Let's just see if Conda env list works now. That should work, and I don't know why it's failing. Oh, it works. Okay, good. Conda activate Python 3. The follow the above should no longer be in your bash RC. Wait. Your shell has not been. Oh, because we need to source activate probably, but that's okay. Enable Conda for the current user with this. Let's just copy these instructions. No. Control Shift C, copy. There we go. And uh, for all users, it eh, doesn't matter. Conda activate. So we need to source it first, though. In your terminal, or to put the base, okay, put this in this. Oops, Control Shift C. 
control shift C and then nano bash RC export path equals anaconda 3 export ah, anaconda 3 is a better thing to search for we don't have that all right With a IORTC there, that's good. Good. I don't know what was going on. I think there was some something had had it locked a process for when the instance first runs, so we're past it now. All right, so we have that, and then we need to go to, um, oh, that worked, right? No, there's some pip installs that, that didn't work last time. So examples, we need these packages. Pip install all these dudes right here, and that. That's further than we got last time. Okay. This blah blah blah. The default signaling channel used is copy and paste, but a big number, but a number of other signaling mechan mechanisms are available. For an example, you will need instances of the CLI example. The first takes on the role of the offer, which I'm assuming is the server. It generates an offer, which you must copy and paste to the answer. What? What does that mean? If you want to play a media file instead of sending the example image, if you want to recording, who's writing this? English is second language, I guess. All right, if you want to record the received video, you can run. I don't want to record yet. Play media file instead of list instead of seeing the example image. Okay. None of this makes sense to me yet. Oh, we have an error. Oh, look at these errors. When was this repo? When how old is this repo? Ten months, nine months. It's not terrible. Time is it? 55? I'm done at 30 after. Oh. Why do we have why do we have errors? Unlikely. Pi PYX error. And function, blah blah blah. Implicit declaration of function from context. What do you mean? Which one failed? Maybe this is what we need to start with. So we got Yarl AIO voice requirement already satisfied. Collecting C R C thirty two C. Oh, it's already done. Crypt cryptography's done. Netifaces parser. Requirement already building wheels for this. So it's the building. Okay, it's this dude right here. AIO RTC. People have obviously got it to work. <sighs> that worked. Maybe I just have, let's go this requirements here. Sphinx, that's for documentation, examples, Webcam video stream CLI server. I do want to try the server. It's JavaScript 
Pip install. All right, we're just gonna do one at a time. Let's see if we can do one at a time. Okay. That works. This is the bad boy, probably. Pip. Hmm. Wait, what are your what's your Python version? Three six five. Why is pip pip three install AIO RTC? Okay, we'll fix it. Install AORTC error steer failed building wheel building wheel for AV. Failed building for AV. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. The error message seems quite clear. You need package config. The error message seems quite clear. No, it doesn't. Maybe right here it does. But my error message does not look quite clear. I had the same issue, and yes, it helps. I had to install a couple other packages to get to work. Brew install. I don't have brew on this because it's Ubuntu. Successfully. Okay. Hmm. Package config. Can we search in this thing? Nope. Uh, let's just start at the top. This is all we have to do. Let's just try pip2 real quick. Pip2 or pip. Failed building wheel for pylib srtp. Failed building wheel for pylib srt. srtp. Man, this is tough. So, what I'm looking for are like a bunch of thumbs ups or the fireworks emoji. I didn't spell that right. I don't, do I have FFmpeg? Looks like it. Version 3.4.5 and I have version 4.0.2. Okay, so that's looking good. Um, hacking, hacking. Get everything else installed. Pip install OpenCV and WebSocket should go smoothly. OpenCV, I'm surprised. Yeah, it should already be done. WebSockets is done. Okay, so those two are done. So the first one's done. All we have left is AIORTC. We're gonna we're gonna clear first. Let's see what happens. We need this clean error message. So pylib. SRTP seems to be one of the bad boys. So does AV. And why are they failing? Pylib fails. Command GCC failed with exit status 1. That's just the compiler. Um, unknown commit. PyAV, unknown commit. Python 365, Anaconda platform. That's okay. PyAV, unknown commit. That seems to be an issue. Pi AV unknown commit. Oof. I don't even know. What is Pi AV? Due to, I just saw something cool. 
due to the complexity of dependencies, it's not always the easiest. The most straightforward is Conda. Conda to the rescue, huh? All right. You know, I forget this from time to time. Like, OpenCV is really hard. Whoa, what? Control C. OpenCV is really hard to install, but if you use Conda to install, it's really easy. So maybe that'll save us here, too. Solving environment. Okay, we're going to let that run just a second. While we're doing that, let's go to Carla and see if we can pull that video from Carla. Carla simulator um, topic camera. So it has these topics in it that you can subscribe to. There we go. So if we can subscribe to the camera topic, then we take that as our input to AIORTC and then stream that out. That should be it. Sensors are a type of actor to measure and stream data. All of them have a listen method that registers the callback function that will be called each time, blah, 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 blah. All right. This Python excerpt shows how you typically attach a sensor. In this case, we're adding a dashboard HD camera to the vehicle. That is awesome. That's exactly what I want to do. So blueprint, sensor, camera, set the attributes for the size of it, field of view, 110. The time between sensor captures is one second. I want it faster, probably. Provide the position of the sensor relative to the vehicle. So we're just setting it on the dash somewhere. Spawn the actor attached to my vehicle. Listen. OK. Do something data. So the do something callback will be what we use the Python code we find in the examples at AIORTC to stream. That's really cool. So it looks like in one of their What kind of camera? Sensor RGB. Oh, he added an RGB camera. That this little dude right here. Okay. So we know we can get data from that. Let's see if this worked. Still solving. Let's pick something fun to talk about. All right, we're gonna go to uh, what's it called? News. Dot Y Combinator. Dot com. Let's go. Let's do uh, random number. Generator. All right, so we're going to go to the fifth page and the fourth link. Fifth page, more, two, or th one, two, three, four, five. So it started at 120, and the fifth link will be 125. Let's call it understanding the neural tangent kernel. Oh no, what have I gotten myself into? This is already way over my head. This GIF depicts the training dynamics of a neural network. Find out how by reading the rest of this post. A neural tangent kernel. So why? What is A? Is that just the error? Or alpha? What is, what is this? Alpha? I don't know. A flurry of recent papers, infinite width at first. Extremely simple example. Generalize our understanding once we get comfortable with toy. Let's work on a 1D input and a 1D output. All right, so we have 1X and a 1D Y. A simple two layer hidden ReLU network with width M will do the trick. Width M. Is that just the number of neurons in the. I guess so. So 1D input and a 1D output. So we're just classifying something based off this. Um, we can nicely plot how the network function looks for a bunch of random initializations. So we have uh, the y here, the x here. So given this for the x, so it's a, like a pretty even distribution. So for these weird ones, it turns out these functions are equivalent to samples drawn from Gaussian process. So you take the hidden layer with to infinity, but that as a whole. Huh, OK. Let's bring in some notation. Calling a neural network function f of x w, where x is input and w is combined vector weights, say of size p. In this example, our data set will just be points x and y. Let's say we have n of them. So our data set is x i y i from 1 to n. Hold on. Still solving. Uh, for learning the network, we take a simple approach. Just perform full batch gradient descent on the least squares lost. 
Now you might be familiar with writing loss as loss of w is 1 over n from i1 to n of 1 half of, yeah, so it's a sum of, it's a sum of the squares of loss. But we can simplify this with vector notation. First stack up the output values, the output data set values of y, where are my glasses? And call it y. I don't know that notation. I mean, I use y hat. What is that called? Y bar? I don't have a classical uh, math background, so I don't know this. Y hat I know. So the other one was not called y bar. Let's just do this. What is y with a line over it? I love Google. Uppercase x with line of it does, denotes the mean of x scores. Oh, it's the mean? Uh, it's y bar. It's the mean of the y values. OK. So let's look at this again now that we know that. Our data set is the mean of xi and the mean of yi from 1 to n. The mean. OK. Stack all the output data set values of of y bar i into a single vector of size n and call it y bar. I'm already lost. I'm glad this is done so I don't get too much more lost. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. So the loss of the loss of w, which is the combined vector weights, is one over n from the sum of x. The basically the um, output minus the mean squared over 2. Why do you see anywhere it's a necessary constant in the loss so we can just drop it without any effect without making the algebra look less cluttered. I'm lost. I'm not even going to attempt that one. Okay. I will come back and look at the rest of it, but let's get something else installing. So we got sidetracked looking at this. So we have AV now. So let's just try to install this again. Oh, AV died again. Um, OK, let's just try this. Uh, conda install AIORTC. Can we get lucky? Let that spin for a little bit. Nope. Conda install A I O R T C. Let's give it that source of Conda Forge. What is dash C? Repository source something. Oh, channel. Okay. Current channel. So Conda Forge is not in that list of current channels. Or this one. All right. But I think I might be close to figuring this one out. Um, conda install AIORTC support. So if someone's asking for support for it, I agree with you. Currently on OS X. Why is everyone doing it on OS X? You're welcome to submit a PR. I have no experience using Conda. Come on, Jay Lane from Brussels. Um, we're stuck, aren't we? How much time do I have? 20 minutes. All right, pip install. Let's look at these error messages again. Building will for, this is where it fails. Building GCC Python 3 compiler GCC, blah, blah, blah. It could be because we're in Conda. Oh, 
Whoa, way worse. It's red everywhere. Conda activate Python 3. All right. I guess I'm going to spend the rest of my time just solving a stupid error. So we failed building the wheel for either of these. Failed building wheel for pi for AV. Pi AV, AV, collab, pip install dash V. Jaylene's posting on this too. Please reinstall in verbose mode. Verbose mode. I'm already getting a crazy amount of errors. You want me to do verbose? Okay. Hello, I think I almost have the same pip error after running this. Um, I was able to fix this by running sudo app install. Neither of these are included by default. I think we did that, but we're going to try this. Oh, AV is working there. That's interesting. The fix was to read the documentation. Boo, J Lane. Boo. Boo. Um. This looks like more my error. J Lane, it's not quite clear. Especially if you're on Ubuntu. J Lane, why are you doing this to us? Building wheels for collecting packages. I mean, if AV is installed, why are you building it? PyLib SRTP. PyLib SRTP. Conda Forge. Lib SRTP. Well, that's fine. Let's see if this helps. Here's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go and just try to run this example. That's what I'm going to do. All right, Python, let's go to the examples. CD, AIO, CD examples, CD server. Um, Python server, what happens? Of course. AIO RTC. All right, you know what? I'm done with that one. Python web RTC server GitHub. We'll just go to GitHub and do this. Let's find the best repo on GitHub, which better not be AIO RTC. Um, RTC. 900, I want code. Uh, c -c -c code, I want Python. All right. And I want to sort by most stars. Known sec TCP. Updated 2019. Google. What's the Googs have? Compare video codec performance. Rising Thunder Community Server and Edition Server, a tool made, blah, blah, blah. What if I'm typing the wrong thing? Web RTC. Sort by most stars. Rocket Chat. Streaming Torrent Client. Oh, I want Python. Oh no, that's the best one. Oh, okay, actually this looks pretty interesting because he's doing something similar to the, what we're gonna do. 198 stars, how's it work? Frames captured from web camera via RTC and sent over the web server over web sockets. Okay, that's exactly what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna process it with OpenCV or uh, MXNet running it, SQLite. OpenCV with Python bindings, Tornado, Pill, PeeWee. What are these? I know a pill and a scikit-learn. What is Tornado? What is the 
AT&T face database. Why is God bless? Why is this new to me? And then tornado. Let's open that. Oh, RIP face database. Cambridge Digital Technology Group. Hello, team. ATT Archive. All right. Well, Tornado is a Python blah, blah, blah. Scale tens of thousands of connections, web sockets. Oh, is it a web socket? Does it do RTC? Hmm. No? So where's the RTC come in? SQLite, OpenCV, Tornado, Pill, Peewee. What are you, Peewee? An ORM for SQLite, okay. Create the database by doing that. Run Python server and browse to this when the model's been trained. Server. Tornado, UID, Pill, those are all things I know, but how are you streaming? Face detect. Is there requirements? Requirements? No. Face recognition with RTC. WebRTC. Well, let's just try this. This is unfortunate right here. The model's been trained seven years ago. Oh man, I don't want that. So maybe most stars. They work on any video tag, all sorts of good stuff. Sky server updated yesterday. Save the art extensible RTC application server homepage. Oh, silk, silk. Silk server, not Sky. Silk server, creation and delivery of blah 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 and blah blah blah. Mac OS X and Windows. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna go with it. Especially since it was downloaded or updated yesterday, and we have ten minutes to figure it out. For now. Silk server, Python 2. Wah, wah. It's okay though. Um, Conda activate Python 2. Do we have any README license homepage? I guess we just were there. Feature, features. SRP signaling video conferencing. There we go. Uh, get started. Download applications. Applications. SIP WebRTC Gateway. This application needs to bridge one-to-one -one audio and video calls between SIP clients and the WebRTC. It's not what I really want to want. To organize conference, including blah, 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 you must use the Silk RTC JS library. Echo, playback, okay. Linux packages. We've done that. We, I guess we've done that. To run Silk Server in the foreground, what happens? Running the server. Start the server. Source code. Hmm. This website feels really old.
Okay, let's see. Why isn't this one jazzing me? Because, because I don't know how to use it. That's one way. And I don't understand RTC enough to understand what I'm looking at here. Features. What is it? A state-of-the-art extensible RTC application server. It allows creation and delivery of rich multimedia apps accessed by SIP clients, XMPP endpoints, and WebRTC. So I know my client will be a, a WebRTC application. So I know that it meets this. It does all this with minimum configuration. That sounds good to me too. To run it, you only need basic Linux admin skill skills. You'll need to install a valid TLS certificate for your domain. Hmm. Okay. SIP signaling. So I understand some of that, most of that. But what I don't understand is how to get started. So I download it. Okay. That's how you build it. We've done everything there. Okay, let's download. Applications. <sighs> this application will be used to bridge one-to-one -one audio and video calls between SIP clients and RTC inputs. The RTC is only supported for Echo devices and Fire TV. To communicate with a front door camera by using a tablet, to implement the camera stream controller. Okay, utterances. I don't care about those. I want. I really care about video skills. What is this? Understand the video skill API. All right. Far field control of video devices and streaming devices. Okay. Start playback of a video. Control a specific device. Um, the video skill API exposes a variety of functionality. So Alexa service, Lambda, skill registration, TV, directive. I don't think I need that. I think I need camera. Camera. Build skills for cameras. Build smart home camera skills. A smart home skill, blah, blah, blah. Device support, technical performance, location, camera skill, implementation. If you created, I done that. You could build using Web RTC or RTSP. We recommend use Web RTC. Okay. Session description protocol. What is all that? All right. This guy seems to have it figured out. He's deep in thought. Left hand, deep in thought. He's solved all these problems. He's got a telescope. He's got a fireplace. He's got a lot of light switches on the wall, but he's got it figured out. He's also on screen with his buddies, who, this guy lives across the street, this, tele, this telescope is pointing at that guy, he's like trying to hide, he's like slinking down in his couch, trying to hide from the telescope. This guy's having none of it, he's just doubting his life choices while this guy remains the most confident. Okay. This, this, I don't like this. I cannot tell you why I don't like it. I can tell you because there's no, because, oh no. There's just no, there are no good examples for me to, to look at and learn from. I've seen this before, right here. Okay. This guy, I'm not doing it. I can't do it, Silk Server. I'm gonna have to figure out, uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to install this. 
Let me try one more thing. How much time do I have? Two minutes. Let's see what we can get done in two minutes. Launch an instance. Ubuntu. Ubuntu. And 16.04. How about with no conda at all? But then we're going to get basic Python 2.7. I think it's okay. Let's try it on micro real quick. Uh, review and launch. Launch it. Projects. Boom. And let's do one thing. Security groups. I have to fix this. Keep this Carla group on it. And review and launch. Carla. Good, 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 good. Launch. Projects. Acknowledge. Boom. One minute. One hunch I have is that um, this AMI comes with a lot of stuff built into it, which is good because it takes care of a lot of the pain of installing some CUDA stuff, some NVIDIA drivers, all these environments. So it does a lot, but it also may have done something, it may have installed something that's giving us a, um, a hard time with this installation. No such file or directory. Let's just see if we can get this. Control Shift C, come here. So we're going to launch a basic, really basic Linux instance and try to install it real quick and see if it works. Meet Echo, okay. I love it when I find another one that's run into it. It looks SIP, RTP, but there's no. Another one. There is a problem with the new version of CRC32, which was uploaded on January 17th, 2019. This issue is closed with no resolution because JLane said it's invalid. JLane, I love the work you've done and look at all your contributions, but. Why are you making this so difficult? Look like you're having fun. On the beach, maybe? At a hotel, pool? All right, connect. Let's just try it here, super quick. Boom. Boom. All right, super quick. AAO, RTC, install. sudo app install, boom. Uh, of course. It's not even, there's not even Python. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What? So unable to locate, locate package sudo apt get update. And this is a base install. That's working. Um, da, 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 and then we go to examples. Let's clone this repo. As soon as this gets done. I wonder if this install even has git. Can't wait to find out. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. 172. Oh, well. Oh, it's done. Okay. Do we have get? Get clone. Bring this up here. All right. So we have that. CD AIRTC, CD examples. We don't have Python, right? So we're going to install it. So pip install. Nope. Sorry. Can't even do that. sudo apt install python 3. Oh, we have python 3. Oh, all right. 3.5, that's fine. So Python 3, so we have pip3 then. So we have pip sudo apt install python3 pip. Fix this real quick. Then pip3 install requirements. I don't think we even have to do that. Examples. 
What's requirements? Requirements. Doc text. That was old. Uh, let's go to server. Install those dudes. Okay, let's see what happens here. doesn't work either. So we're closing that one. All right, I don't know what to do yet. This is why this is why coding oh, is painful. I mean, I think the best package I've found on GitHub anyway is this. It seems to be really well liked, but there are errors just with basic install and the maintainer doesn't seem to be exactly helpful. So we have to dig in and figure out ourselves. Which is okay, but it's frustrating. Alright. Fun stream. Fun was this playing the whole time? Nope. Alright. Alright, I'll get it figured out and uh the next time we meet we may have a streaming video from Carla. We'll see. All right, bye.